After the war, um, the Commonwealth decided to uh, establish a, um, a monument. Uh, was a place to uh, remember uh, the people who died and had no grave, no known grave. Um, so in 28, the Menin Game monument was uh, finished. And it was in 29. Um, it was in 29 that a, a local uh, Eper citizen um, started up that ceremony uh, of the last post. In the beginning, it was at um, at the going down of the sun, um, but that was practically uh, difficult uh, to keep, uh, and so they decided to. Um, uh, have it at a fixed time, uh, which is, has been decided to be 8 o'clock in the evening. It's a, it's a very important moment uh, to visit uh, the last post uh, ceremony. It really brings alive um, the, all the emotions um, and um, the history, you can nearly uh, see uh, the soldiers uh, marching again towards the battlefield. Um, it's uh, been 30 years that I live in Ypres now and each evening uh, still um, that specific emotion uh, makes me uh, quiet again and uh, makes me silent. Um, so uh, the last post ceremony is something uh, special and unique uh, and what makes it so unique is that it was not uh, started up by a government or something it was really the citizens from Ypres that um, intuitively started up uh, that commemoration act just like that because they wanted to do that and that's so wonderful.